Hi everyone, oh I'm very excited for this video. Welcome to this channel and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to review two new products from Linda Halberi and she released these on Friday. It was two days ago, it's Sunday when I filmed this. Her new two new products are this the Infinity Glass and Infinity Filter Loose Setting Powder. I have both of them and I'm going to review them today. So if you want to see what these products can do and what they are can be used for, please keep on watching. Okay, so the first product here is Infinity Glass and I'm going to read the, what it says on the back here. Glass like a boss. Infinity Glass is the perfect pr product for for an all over sleek shine, dab it on your lips, eyes and cheeks for a glossy look. You can use Infinity Glass as a primer or mixed with your foundation for a dewy finish. Want an extra dimension? Try Infinity Glass with your favorite shadow, loose pigment or with our crayons for, e for a crazy and grungy, grungy look. Since the formula doesn't dry, it's perfect for an editorial look or for all of us who just enjoy being glossy. Re reveal your inner creator. This sounds like an amazing product. Not maybe for my skin. To skin. I'm uh, oily on my T-zone, combo skin, and this is maybe perfect for someone that really wants that dewy look. But I'm going to review it. I'm going to see how it feels on the skin together with the foundation. So I'm going to mix this on with my foundation. I'm going to apply it over a matte liquid lipstick and I'm going to apply it over my eyeshadow just to see how it's going to work. So, interesting. But also I got this. This is Infinity Filter Loose Setting, Loose Setting Powder. She released three different shades. Light, medium and deep. She, uh, Linda Halbert talked in her video when she talked about, mentioned these products, is that the light one was translucent one. The medium had, the medium and the deep had some pigment in it. So I went for light and uh, the translucent one because I did swatch them yesterday in the store and I kind of liked how this one looked on my skin. This is, uh, let me just read some, I will tell you more about this. Who needs camera filters when you're rocking infinity filter, the mother of all setting powders? That's a um, strong thing to say. Set your foundation or use it alone, creating a flawless finish lasting from day to night. Works with all skin types, perfect for dry to normal skin with a few strokes of your brush or rather a few dabs with our powder puff. You're go good to go. I have the powder puff. I have it right here and I'm going to use it today for this powder. Now, she, when she talked about this product, she also said that this is uh, going to mattify the foundation, so it's going to keep your oils in control, so you don't get oily during the day. So this is perfect for your T-zone. She also recommended not to bake with it. It's not a baking powder. You could do, you could do it, that, but it's not a baking powder. It's a setting powder. So I'm not going to bake with it, but I'm going to set my makeup. I'm going to use this with my foundation and with every lips and eyes and then I'm going to set the T-zone with this powder just to see how much is going to mattify it. So let's start. Okay, okay. I just removed my makeup. It's very late here in Sweden. It's 10 o'clock at night and I really really want to film this video because I went yesterday before I visit my sister. I fixed her nails, so I think this video is going to be before that one. So you're going to see me, it's kind of like a vlog, you're going to see me talk about this product and go and buy them, go and buy them and uh, show you, showing you them on in my car. So um, then I'm going to fix my sister's nails with a very interesting product. So be, in, be there for that. I'm going to set this with some powder and I'm going to set it with Huda Beauty powder. Huda Beauty is my favorite powder right now. So, 
and let's open this baby oh i'm very excited i don't really like dewy looks dewy looks because i'm very oily and my tea is on the way uh, but i'm interested to see how this is going to work i love the packaging though this looks wonderful so let's swatch this product first to see how it looks oh it's very glossy gel if you can see it camera it looks wet doesn't smell anything um i don't know how it's going to work on the eyes maybe what if you oh my nose is itching. maybe it's going to look good on the eyes or with the eyeshadow when you're taking photos but i don't know if it will keep the eyeshadow in place during the day very especially when i have very oily eyelids we'll see if it's going to destroy my makeup let's uh, let's do my eye first before i go in with the foundation i'm going to use this palette so i'm just going to throw in some eyeshadow nothing very special let's use this all over the eyelid so i'm not going to create this beautiful makeup look i just want to try this product so i'm going to apply this i'm going to use this shade here So, so I'm going to use this all over my eyelid. This is a wrong brush for that. Wrong, wrong brush for that. Try another brush. This is much better. Try to wipe off the fallout. It looks like somebody punched me in the eye here. That looks great. Let's just take some a blending brush and blend this mess in here. Let's blend this a little bit. I'm going to clean the fallout. Okay. Let's uh, use my Milani foundation, one pump of number four, and I'm going to use a brush, one pump of Milani number eight, a little bit more than one pump, and I don't know how much to use, but let's take that much I'm going to mix everything with my finger it's easy to mix with the foundation so it, uh, it's not hard so let's a little bit of the foundation and with the brush looks nice it does give me a very nice glow but i think i want to use a little bit more i want to use a little bit more just to see how much i can so i used this much and if you can see it in cam on camera i think that's more than enough but it does give me a very nice glow if you can see on the skin but let's try it out and play more i'm very curious to see I'm not going anywhere with this makeup <laughs> I'm going to wash my face when I fi finish filming this video but I just want to see how my foundation is still ve still very full coverage so it doesn't destroy the coverage of the foundation and it blends very nice my foundation it's can't see any difference there No, but it does look very nice and shiny. I did use a lot, as you saw me putting a lot of this product, but I just want to see how, what it can do. That's why we're here, aren't we? To see what this product can do. To use the same brush. I mean, my foundation goes on still very nice and full coverage. I really like it. 
concealer blends nice too so I do like that it doesn't uh, make the foundation less it doesn't make my foundation cakey or heavy it also makes my foundation go on very smooth so it doesn't destroy the coverage of the foundation sometimes sometimes I feel when I put something or mix something in my foundation the full coverage foundation gets less full coverage if you understand what I mean it has then like a medium coverage but this looks flawless and it gives me very nice shine so if you have dry skin this product is perfect for you it doesn't feel heavy at all I mean my foundation looks very very nice I think it looks better than it did, does without this product though I don't know how this is going to work on my oily t-zone uh, but right now I do really like it I'm going to use a cream bronzer that I got my glossy box I got this bronzer from this brand in my glossy box and uh, you're going to see that I think this video is going to go before that one uh, I'm going to use a cream bronzer or contour see how the bronzer blends over so guys my face looks very nice right now I want to see how it doesn't feel it does feel a little bit sticky but it feels my foundation feels sticky all the time if I don't set it I want to see how powder is going to go over my foundation right now because this looks very nice and feels very nice doesn't feel heavy uh, I do feel like I have foundation on of course but it doesn't feel heavy let's see my contour I can dip it up a little bit let's see how powders are going to go over this product let's take some blush and see how that is going to blend over this I have to say I feel like powders blend very nice over top over, over the foundation because it still looks Still looks very nice and shiny though where the powder is it looks less shiny but I kind of like this dewy look I just know that this is going to look terrible in a couple of hours so I'm not putting a lot of work in my eyeshadow look or effort I just want to have something so I look normal so I did put some black eyeliner on my waterline so I'm going to use a lipstick and I'm going to use this from Jeffree Star in Leo it dries down to a matte finish so I'm going to use that so I'm very curious to see how it's going to look over the lipstick so while this dries down my lipstick I want to try this product let's try this while this sets down I'm going to be take some highlighter I'm going to use my highlighter and I'm going to oh my god look how beautiful my highlighter looks oh my I do like this glass my fatty glass so I'm going to take some of this product on back on my hand use a clean finger and swirl around warm it up a little bit Let's see if this is going to remove my highlighter. Oh my god, it doesn't remove it at all. But it's, it makes it so wet looking. I don't know if you can see it in camera. It didn't remove any of my highlighter or foundation. It just made everything look more glossy. And this is good. I like it. I like it a lot. It's time to try it on the lips. Take more back on my hand. Use a clean finger. And let's go in. Uh, it's not sticky. It's so strange for formula when La Linda talked about this these products in her video it kind of sounded too good to be true I'm going to list her video down below so you can watch it if you're interested to see that but this is not heavy 
this is not sticky. It's glossy, but this is a, like a perfect gloss. <laughs> can't explain it. I, I can't, it doesn't even remove the lipstick. Let's try it on the eyes. This is the question. I have very oily eyelids. Is it going to, is it going to destroy it right away? Take more of this product back on my hand. Let's try, let's go in. I'm nervous. I don't know if I should use a brush or my fingers, but I'm going in. Guys, you know what? It doesn't remove the eyeshadow. I was scared that it's going to move my eyeshadow around, but it doesn't. Let's try it with a brush. Kind of this flat blush to get in there in the corners. Mm, doesn't go with the brush. It doesn't look like it's moving around my foundation at all. And this is great. This looks nice. So this is the packaging. It's small. It closes like this. So we remove this and then we have the powder here. So I'm going to take some of the powder on the lid. And this is how it looks. It's a matte fighting powder, but it doesn't make you feel matte, look matte. It kind of has like a shimmer. If you can see it. It's very fine milled. I can't explain the texture. I haven't seen any powder like this. Doesn't smell anything. So uh, let's see if it's going to mattify this. So I'm going to use the puff, her puff. And it took a little bit too much of the powder. And let's see. It definitely mattified a lot, a lot. I don't know if you can see it, but it mattified a lot. Mm -hmm. I like this. I like this a lot. You see my shadow? It's greasy. So guys, I really like this product. I think this product is very good for any, everyone that, that wants that dewy look. And also over the lipstick, it looks beautiful also over the eyeshadow I think it worked nice I think it worked nice I mean I had this eyeshadow for 40 minutes and it still looks good so I give it a plus great product I love this powder it very mattified everything it it looks like I have a filter over here under my eyes and in the center of my forehead and I do really really enjoy it I really like it so I love these products they are great check it out if you can, I'll put the link down below to the website where you can purchase it. Doesn't feel on the skin, doesn't feel heavy, doesn't destroy the coverage of the foundation. It doesn't make your foundation move around. It makes your lipstick stay on. I mean, I think this is an amazing product. Can't wait for her to come out with foundations. <sighs> Can't wait. So... That was everything guys for this video. Please let me know down below what you thought about these products. Would you be interested to trying them out? Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!